Hey guys, welcome for your weekly updates. And this is going to be a short video, really. Um, I don't have a lot of TA to do uh, on Bitcoin. Uh, all I can say here is that we have a very strong resistance at 47,300, um, which is the level we almost uh, got the last time and we got rejected very badly. But anyways, uh, Bitcoin generally was very, very extended in the, in the downside here after after a three months going down uh, for a 50% correction, that's a lot. Uh, so like I've been saying, I'm pretty confident in saying that this was the bottom here at 33,000. And now we had uh, a second bottom here. It, this was the second chance uh, you people had uh, to buy the dip. And actually at this, at the ver at this very uh, time here, at this very dip here, uh, I started my uh, 2022 HODL portfolio which of course I shared uh, for members and I also actually shared, uh, I shared this on Telegram, on my free uh, Telegram channel. So uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe uh, here if you are interested at all. Uh, on that very dip I said here my 2022 HODL portfolio starts with today's dip. That was at the deepest, uh, the deepest moment. Uh, similar with the one I did in 2019, I will use $2,000 to buy eight different coins. No stop loss, just hodl for one year. So from today, uh, that day, until 1st uh, of uh, March 2023. Today I spent around $700 and in my next entry I will use uh, the other $1,300. Uh, this was the results for my 2019 HODL portfolio. You can see here, guys, uh, under, under each coin, you can see the day I bought this, uh, which, I mean, of course, I shared for private members. I, uh, they saw me live uh, buying on the exchange, uh, but then I did this, uh, this portfolio here on this website so that it was easier to, uh, you know, it's easy to follow up uh, over time. So you can see here the dates I bought uh, each coin. I, I did on my first buy, I did the same that I'm going to do this time. I did it in two buys. So I spent more or less half the money in the first buy and then the rest in the second buy. And you can see here, guys, I bought uh, the first buy was the 27th of January uh, in 2019. And the second buy was the 18th of September. So I bought the very, <laughs> the very, very bottom here. If we go to uh, January 2019... Probably, let's go to the weekly. So I bought uh, January 2019, I bought the, the exact bottom. And then I had, because I was waiting, I was waiting for my second buy to uh, either uh, buy lower if we were going to dip deeper, which was pretty unlikely after all this drop here. But I was going to either uh, going to buy deeper if it continued to go lower or wait for a retracement and then buy the retracement. So it turns out it never went down. I had to wait six months and then I bought the, this retracement here, either, either this one or this one. Uh, what's the date? The date was 18th of September. Uh, 30th of September, yeah, so 18th of, it was down here. So now uh, I'm doing basically a repeat uh, of what I did in, uh, in, in 2019. I bought now and now I'm going to wait, I, I bought the very, very, the very deep here, like the 78.6. Actually, you know what, uh, here on the members area, uh, what is this? This is... Uh, Bitcoin, uh, this is a HODL portfolio, okay, so now I have a section here called the 2022 HODL portfolio, uh, so far I bought uh, four different coins, and since it's no secret that I'm going to have Bitcoin and Ethereum in this portfolio, I'll just give it, a, uh, give it give, I'll just give this away for YouTube, uh, so, uh, uh, so you can see here, uh, Bitcoin was added uh, here, the 78.6 uh, for 35,000, and same for Ethereum. Uh, uh, it was the, the very deep here at uh, 2,400. So I shared this for members as I was adding these coins to the portfolio. And of course I have, uh, of course the other two coins that I added, 
uh, are doing better than, than Bitcoin and Ethereum so far. Um, you see I spent here, in total I spent seven, $740, so the, the other almost $1,300 uh, I will use for my second buy. So far uh, we are up 20%. Uh, like I said, the other two coins are doing better than Bitcoin and Ethereum. And so, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I'm waiting. I was waiting when I, you know, when I started the portfolio, I was waiting for my second. I, I was waiting for this. If it was going to go deeper, I was going to make my second buy. But since I don't think it's going to be going deeper, now I'm going to have to wait for a retracement. The only thing is, uh, because I don't want, uh, I don't want the same thing to happen uh, that happened in 2019, that I had, I had to wait six months for a little retracement. Maybe if we get rejected at uh, 47,300, more or less, I might make my second buy now because I think we are low enough. Uh, like I said, Bitcoin was very, very extended in the downside. Um, so I don't, I don't want to have to wait, like, like I said, another six months for a retracement. If we get rejected here, I might, uh, I might do my second buy. But to be honest, I think, uh, of course, I don't think it's going to break uh, uh, 47,300 like nothing. I think it's at least it's going to find some resistance here. So maybe it'll go sideways for a little bit before, uh, before breaking it. But I think it will break at this time. So if I see we are consolidating at, at around this level for long enough, I might, I might make my second buy uh, there. Whatever I do, I share for members. By the way, one of the members was very, very uh, worried uh, when we had this dip here, uh, when Bitcoin was like basically at, four, at 34,000. 34, uh, he was like, uh, when do we have to get worried here? Because, I mean, it's going down a lot, you know? And my answer was, I was FOMO buying at that time. Uh, guys, I, I've been talking about the fear and greed index. Uh, you, could, you could just see the bearish sentiment uh, in the markets. So you need to buy the fear and then hopefully sell the grid. And, and I think that's all. That's a short video for this week. But really, I have no, uh, no more technical analysis uh, for Bitcoin this time. All I can say is that I think there's resistance here at 47,300. And I'll have to take it from there. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next week. Bye.